Last year, when we had the influx of immigrants here in Laredo, there were mixed reactions. And I can understand a lot of people just thought, why are you here, you know, go back. At the same time, those same people, I think, when you're faced with an idea, it's easy to make a decision, but when there's a person actually in front of you, you soften a lot. 26, 27, 28. The students that come into the class are usually at different levels. We have people that are very educated in Mexico and in other countries that understand almost everything that you're saying in English or if they see it on paper. Most of it is, I think, a confidence issue or just being able to pronounce it, not wanting to be judged, um, so they won't, they won't try to say things back. There are other people that don't understand anything, so we've got a big mix. Tengo, uh, yo tengo la residencia. Estoy legalmente aquí en Estados Unidos. Principalmente mi objetivo aquí es estudiar el inglés, porque aquí en Estados Unidos es un requisito que se tiene que tener para poder vivir bien. Um, Y mi objetivo es estudiar enfermería, como lo hice anteriormente, pero me piden el inglés al 100%, y ese es ahora mi objetivo por el cual estoy aquí, por estudiar el inglés. I try to stay really practical. I don't do sentence structure. We don't do much of, you know, we're not writing essays. Cook. Cooked. No, vamos a decir cooked, pero cooked we're learning how to order from restaurants. I've had people tell me they always order a hamburger anywhere they go. And finally they had someone ask them, well, you really like hamburgers? And she said, no, it's all I know how to say. Um, let's review the parts of the body. From there, we've worked on how to talk to the doctor at the doctor's visits, what things mean. Ear. 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 Ache. Ear. Ache. Ear. Ache. Mm -hmm. Maybe some simple things to be able to talk to their children's teachers at school. So we try to stay really practical. 71, 72, the first couple of sessions that I taught, we did numbers. I had two, three women that said that they wanted to be cashiers, that they could. They, they almost had a job, but they needed to learn some English. So they learned it and they left. So, which is good, you know, they, they learned what they needed to. Um, to get by or to, or to get the jobs that they needed and they didn't come back to, to class because of their hours, because they're working now. Cuando llegué aquí a Estados Unidos para vivir, sí fue muy diferente a México. Se siente más paz, se siente más tranquilo, se siente muy bien vivir aquí. Sí es una gran diferencia de estar aquí en Estados Unidos, estar en México. Igual allá tienen también, teníamos nosotros nuestras vidas, pero ahora tenemos que empezar aquí en Estados Unidos, pero sí es agradable es estar bien aquí.